This is XV Excalibur, an experimental submarine said to pave the way for how the UK can operate in the underwater battle space. 12 metres long, 2 metres wide. This is described as an extra-large, uncrewed underwater vessel. It's the largest uncrewed submarine ever trialled by the Royal Navy. The culmination of the three-year-long Project Cetus. But the submarine is only half of the story. In the middle of the uh, extra-large uncrewed underwater vessel, there's a nine meter cube payload, which is essentially just a space. And anything that we could fit into there, essentially we can integrate into the platform. I envisage us using payloads such as anti-submarine warfare sensors, uh, mine warfare sensors, and things that we can use for protection of uh, critical underwater infrastructure. The fact we don't have people on the platform means that some of the processing needs to be done by artificial intelligence. And so we'll use that to process some of the data the sensors pick up but also artificial intelligence is used to safely navigate the platform without the presence of people on it. XV Excalibur was given a traditional welcome to the Royal Navy. Nelson would have recognised some of the ceremonial, yet even 20 years ago, this sort of submarine would have seemed like science fiction to the Royal Navy. Fittingly, the dedication cake was Arthurian in appearance, Excalibur the sword being drawn free of the sponge cake stone. The buzz phrase here is crude, uncrewed Navy. Ships with sailors working with and alongside autonomous vehicles. The technology that we're seeing brought into the Navy now is going to be absolutely world changing. It's a uh, it's a wood to steel moment. It's a, a sail to steam moment. Because for the first time ever, we can create, build, and operate a Navy that's the equivalent of a Navy that's 10, 20, 50 times the size of today's Navy. XV Excalibur won't enter active service. She's a test bed, currently remotely operated, set to become autonomous. It's going to be fascinating to see what two years of rigorous testing with this will develop, but everyone here really does believe it will set the blueprint for Royal Navy subsea autonomous operations for decades to come. Tim Cooper, BFBS Forces News, Plymouth. Thanks for watching. For more from BFBS Forces News, like and subscribe to our channel.